In this video we're going to take a Nexus Particle Sim and we're going to use Cinema 4D Deformers. Here's a twist. We can layer up those deformers for different effects like introducing a spline wrap. This remains procedural and can be animated. In our scene then we have an X Particles emitter with this NX Turbulence and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, deform these particles and what we want is a thin ribbon of particles so we don't really want this y-axis movement with our turbulence so let's make a couple of changes first of all we're going to put our noise type in the turbulence onto my favorite Voronoise let's put the strength on maybe 40 so quite strong so if we hit play we've got this strong turbulence but we don't want this y movement so let's restrict the axis direction scale let's put the y axis on zero and now if we come to the top down you can see we're starting to get this noisy thin ribbon of particles right we want to keep them with a more of a plus z direction we don't want this spread so we're going to use an attractor to do that let's go to insidium x particles nexus attractor here's our attractor target let's put it something like this and in our attractor we're going to have it in velocity type um, let's leave the force as it is for now we'll put the acceleration down to say 10 speed limit on about 400 now when we hit play we should have some of those particles well most of those particles now being attracted towards this point so you see we're not getting that really wide spread which is what we were trying to avoid um, maybe increase the force of that up to maybe 50 all right so that's looking good so now we've got this we want to kind of kill them off once they reach our attraction point so we'll do that with an nx kill let's go to insidium x particles nexus let's bring in a kill and we'll just use this simple bounding box we'll say when they're out uh, inside the bounding box they should die so volume inside bounds and now uh, when they start going towards the attraction they go into the bounds and then die okay so that's kind of what we want cool let's make our kill invisible and our attract invisible now now that we have this there are plenty of tools in x particles and in nexus that enable you to kind of organically get a flowing uh, stream of particles to follow the path of a spline but there is a very very precise way that we can do that by deforming the position of these particles um, so what we're going to do let's just make this helix spline visible here what we want to do is for our ribbon of noisy particles to wrap around this spline and we can use the cinema 4d deformers to do that so let's go to our deformers menu and we're going to bring in the spline wrap now this is the bit we need to get right when i make my spline wrap a child of the emitter it automatically sizes it look to the exact size of that emitter but actually that's not correct we, we don't need it to be this shape we need our spline wrap to be this shape kind of a rectangular shape which fits our entire stream of particles within it so let's get that sorted first of all we want this the axis to be the plus z because this is the axis we want it to be wrapped so let's change it to plus z and then in our bounding box size let's increase that plus z now you could be really precise about this and kind of measure it with geo but i'm just going to eyeball it because i'm lazy so let's drag it out so it encapsulates our particles and then let's widen it out to something like this okay so now we have the correct size now what we want to do is drop in our spline which spline do you want to use to wrap these particles around so in our uh, spline wrap we need to get our helix and drop it into the spline link field and there look brilliant now that has been wrapped around our spline and if we make the spline wrap invisible to hide that interface now we have got this stream of particles which is really precisely wrapping around that spline and sometimes if you need it to be this exact 
um, or you need to set something like this up very quickly, this kind of cheaty way of deforming our particles along the path of a spline is a pretty cool um, way to go. And what's nice about it is you can animate um, the spline itself and it will obviously kind of update. So you increase the start radius, like you can make changes. We could have the end angle so there was more swirls. Um, this remains, uh, the spline remains um, procedural and live and so you could keyframe it and make animations should you wish. Let's just do one more thing here. We'll just take that spline wrap out for now and go back to our particle stream. Let's add a different one. So let's say we want them to go wrap around our spline, but we also want them to kind of twist around itself as well. So we can do that with another modifier. Let's go to our modifiers list and we want a twist. Now this twist, if you see, the interface is saying it's twisting this way around the Y axis look. Um, and that is not going to work for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my coordinates and we're going to make the pitch 90 degrees. Now that's actually going the wrong way. Look, it's on the right axis now, but it's, go it's going away from the particles. So let's put minus 90. There we go. Perfect. And now if we put this twist as a child of our emitter, and we move it again to the center of our particles and then you can see look as we're twisting it's twisting those particles now but the bounding box isn't big enough so let's go to our twist object tab and we need to increase this y bounding box so it encapsulates our particles fully something like that very nice let's make this unlimited and now when we start twisting this, you can see, look, we're getting a twist of our particles, which is pretty cool. And actually, we're twisting from um, this end here. And actually, what I want to do is twist it from the other end. So I was correct the first time. So let's go back to our coordinates and put that back to 90. Yeah, that's what I want. Cool, so now we have got, let's make that invisible. Now we have got a twist of particles just twisting around its own kind of ribbon shape, which is pretty cool. So now we can get this twisted particle stream to wrap around our helix spline just by, in fact, look, let's make this helix spline a bit more obvious. Now we've got that twist in. Let's make our start and end radius much bigger. That's where's our start radius there. And then we'll just drop this spline wrap after our twist. But as a child of the emitter, there we go. So now we have got twisting and spline wrapping of our particle stream. And this is just entirely procedural. So if you take these off, obviously, we've just got our thin stream of particles. So that's how we can use Cinema 4D deformers with Nexus and X particles to kind of cheat the motion of particles around scene splines.